we came there because there are some uh, some worries about uh, this yacht, uh, which can f just simply flee the marina and f uh, flee the Italy and go to some safe harbor like Turkey. And we just came to take uh, the closest look <laughs> possible and the closest look at the yacht uh, ever taken by any journalist. They saw that we are sailing off with a small boat and that we have a camera uh, that we are preparing to film them. Some people started to run on the deck. They activated the fire hoses like it was a fire drill. They started to pour water <laughs> and they, I think, tried to show us that we should not approach them any closer. <laughs> And all this time their drone was uh, making grounds around our small boat, filming us. Uh, and then we finally were stopped by the local police on the boat. Uh, they said that they were called by the Shahrazad's crew, but uh, they checked our documents and we were all clear to continue filming. They are expanding the rear deck, they are making it bigger and more suitable for swimming. It's quite unusual, but it's, uh, it appears to be legal because there was a waiver from the sanctions. I absolutely believe that uh, it's the Putin's yacht, uh, Shahrazad, and that the Khudainatov is just a straw order. But uh, Khudainatov denies it. There is a court case uh, ongoing right now between Khudainatov and I think Department of Justice. So we'll see if uh, United States will present some more evidence. <laughs> <laughs> 